I'm use my Allpair 8800. Looks in pretty good shape. Let me try to turn it on tonight. Hopefully there's going to be no fires. Here's the cards inside. Couple broken card holders. I don't know if you can still buy them or not. Glue them back on. Alright, I'm gonna start pulling these cards out one by one and turn it on. Okay, the first card out. First card out. Looks like it's a RAM card. Not much info on it. Here's something I found interesting. I'm talking. Here's something I found interesting. Double stacked card. You can see right there. I haven't seen any of these in anybody else's. Let's see if I can find out what it is here. I think it's a serial card, I'm not sure. Yep. Right there, it's serial. The Mitz 88 Serial TTL. You pause this and I'll come back and flip it over. Here's the back side. Let's see, let's see what this says. Oh, it says uh, Mitz Modem Board. Yeah, right there. It's weird they stacked it. Any more info would be interesting. Here we are with uh, PD800 CPU Rev1 board. Pretty much the heart of the system. Let's hope it kicks in. Sorry about the video. I'm trying to film and hold things at the same time. It's almost time to fire this thing up. Could be exciting. Right, I'm going to pan around just in case this bad boy starts on fire. Here's the back. I know there's a label PI and RO for, but it's not that serial board. Here's the back side of the front panel. I'm no expert on these, but try to figure it out. All those help, all those happens, I get some help from somebody online. Instead of just firing up the proper way it is, I think it's called the very where it gets all it brings up the electric really slow, the juice into your capacitors and diodes and get them all gummy again. But I'm just gonna go cold turkey and turn it on. We're at that point. I know it's not the right way to do it, so people don't try this if, and don't blame me if you do. Here we go. Pan out. Hold on, we'll shut some lights off. Try to get dramatic effect. Alright, we've got the front of the panel. Here we go. Everybody cross your fingers. First time. Whoa. We got power. See, the proper way everybody says to do it is take all the cards out like I did and start it up and make sure everything works. Once again, that's not the proper way to do it. As you can see, we got power. I'm happy about that. Next, I'll be putting a CPU card in. And we'll go from there. 
All right, Green Meanie is back. We got the CPU card in. I'm gonna flick the switch on again. Make sure nothing different happens. Well, well we got some more lights out of that. Good to bad, I don't know, I gotta read the book. Maybe you can tell me if it's good or bad. So now we got the CPU card in, no fires. It's lit up. One let out, I'm not sure if that one's supposed to light or not. Oh, it came on. I'll let you just touch it. Hmm. All right, next card. We'll see what happens. I'm mean, flicking the reset switch. I'm gonna find out that's a default. Hopefully. As you can see, this system wasn't built to the max. Still needs some more. I wonder if anyone can tell me with this full-size board if you still have to connect the wires underneath like they do when they get separate boards. I don't think you have to. Okay, I now have the serial card back in. I think the modem card. That's what it is. I'm going to try powering up again and see what happens. See no smoke or smell anything funny. Alright, so far so good. No fires. Off to the RAM card. Okay, here we go. Last card that's gonna go in it is the RAM card. These other two cards aren't done yet, I think. The guy told me. Maybe finished and worked. But Give a thanks to him one more time. I'm not going to mention his name, but he gave me this computer for free. Shipped it to me. Trying to get run. Alright, last time with the RAM in it. Here we go. You see, this computer's pretty clean. A couple dents in it, but nothing big. Dents looking from a disk drive or a terminal while it was laid on top. There she is. Got a lot of rating to do. Try to figure it out. I'll subscribe to my YouTube if you've got any hints. Thought I'd get it with the case on a little bit here for you guys. See, there's one little dent. Another little dent. It's the only dents on it. I think I'm going to get a night shot of it lit. Just for the heck of it. And then I'm off to do research. Let's try it with dim light. 